Hi, Bruce from Safari, and you've seen this uh, Defender before, and uh, let's just go down the side here, Monocera. It's just an absolute beautiful colour, this beautiful wrap. And uh, what we've put in here, this has been our most challenging job to date. And uh, just have a look. We've got a whole drawer system in the back here. So we've got, uh, this is a cutting board on the top, and you lift that up, and we've got quite a big drawer underneath there. If you stand back, you can see you get a U-shaped kitchen here, or an L-shaped, I should say, not U-shaped. So I've got this uh, uh, running now on setting nine, and uh, we've got the angle fridge here uh, that pulls out, that goes in there. And then on the top here, we've got another drawer for your plates, bits and pieces. And then we've got our switches power in, and some connected down here, one on the other side for the solar. And then for the light at the back here, so there's the door, just have a check this out. I turn that on, there's the white light, and that's coming into the cooking area here. Turn that off, put the amber on. Hey, doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? And then the Cymarine is over here. So let's see how much current we're pulling out of this at the moment. 173 amps pulling out on the Cymarine. And we're going to start the car in a minute and power it up. And then let's walk in and have a look at the back here to see how it fits in. And uh, that's in there. That's as tight as the proverbial. And uh, it's all in there. That's our negative bus down here. Large inverter. But we had to build up a packer underneath here. Uh, put everything underneath here and there's a 3000 inverter and uh, 250 amp hours of Clark Kent's high powered batteries underneath the boards here in the bottom of the Land Rover. This Land Rover does not have an alternator. This is an MHEV Land Rover and so it's got a 48 volt starter generator, comes goes through a 48 to 12 converter and then we pull out of the 4812 converter charging up in the back. So let's uh, start the car now. So what we've got in the display here is you've got the charge discharge that we've got coming in here. Uh, that's the uh, feed voltage coming out of the 4812 converter. So that's 13.14. Our batteries are 13.47. And that's where the DC the is running. And then we've got two temperatures. That's the temperature below the floor where the inverter is. And we've got holes cut in there to let the heat out. And that's the fridge temperature which now we've got two clark kent batteries in here they're both good for um, 150 amps continuous each so we're pulling uh, effectively half the battery capacity running this um, so just standing back that's how tight that is in the back but it all fits and i've got to say how good is that